Do you enjoy being in a relationship or are you feeling burdened and tense? Let's find out more about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Chavi Bhargav Sharma and I'm a psychologist and psychotherapist. A codependent relationship is really about one person carrying the burden of the entire relationship. And mind you, it's not just one person. It's it's codependent, you know. So the other is an enabler and one is the person carrying the burden. So do you feel you're a perfectionist? You feel the whole relationship you have to carry. Do you get restless when people don't do as you tell them? Do you feel that no matter what you come second to everything? Do you feel that we have to carry on the burden sacrifice and martyr is necessary for you to survive in this relationship? Do you feel guilty when you make choices for yourself? or do you remember the last time when you even chose something for yourself some statistics to just understand what this is about 7 million american women are depressed and about 40 million are labeled in a codependent relationship before we figure out whether we are emotionally needy or we are codependent or we feel that we are in that relationship where we need the other person more and more let us just find out what are the signs of codependency so you can figure out how to stop being needy and what to do to move and make that shift from codependency to healthy independence a sign of codependent relationship is when you feel the need to keep doing things for others keep making sacrifices and making things right for others before even they realize it you will naturally say am i not supposed to sacrifice my needs that's how relationships are am i not supposed to make things right for others let me put the word here control and that's where the problem comes because we cannot control everything and we need to create healthy boundaries and give space to the others in the relationship if we are codependent we tend to cross those boundaries of course for their good because that's a justification but we need to st- stop doing that another sign of a codependent relationship is when the needy person feels everything is their fault if things don't go right they are to blame maybe somewhere they did not do things the way they were supposed to have done and mainly it is it stems when you have not been validated and if it stems from low self esteem so you feel that until and unless you don't do things as others want they will never appreciate you so if you want to stop feeling that you are to blame and everything that goes wrong in the relationship is because of you then let's take the first step there the first step is always about us stop blaming yourself and begin the journey to liking yourself one sign of a codependent relationship the needy person thinks they are not entitled to any needs see the controversy there you're needy and you you feel you don't have a right to things that's where we lose out the game that is the most unhealthy thing to do if you are always thinking that you are not entitled you don't have any needs you will always end up only pleasing the other person only catering to what the other person needs and again i will emphasize self love self respect and self esteem that is more important to us we need to make that shift in a relationship anger should not be scary and if it is scary that means you do not even have that space to express your anger and so much will be suppressed and suppression will lead to so many other problems if uh, in a codependent relationship if you're always running away from arguments sweeping them under the carpet how will the relationship survive there will be a point when there will be a burst when there will be a catharsis and that's where we need to you know stop and seek counseling and seek help on how to make that shift so see in a codependent relationship because only one person exists in that relationship the needy person doesn't know how to deal with things how to deal with their own feelings you know it's like two people one enabling and the other is the needy it becomes more like a symbiotic relationship and relationships they are not about symbiosis they are about independence here it is one person feeding off the other so if you are in a codependent relationship the way to deal with it is make that shift every time you feel the need to set things right stop 
pause please don't do it whether it is with your children or your husband just leave that just drop it there if you feel you have to you know do things otherwise the person will fall apart it doesn't matter let people make their mistakes and for you take a day where you are only going to be doing things that you love so go for that spa eat that food that you've always wanted but you never made at home you never cooked at home or you never got it done because the others in the relationship were not fond of it go where you want to while the we time is important this is the me time you have to take out me time in your everyday routine ensure that that is the time where you're only doing things that you like but first of all to begin that journey discover what you like discover that you exist go in front of the mirror stand there look at yourself acknowledge that you exist it is okay you don't need to please others you are entitled for existence despite and in spite of everything you may feel scared if you're in a codependent relationship but there's nothing to be scared of i will always say seek out help go to a professional counselor there is nothing permanent about our thoughts our behavior or our emotions the moment you decide you want to change the change is happened